Hello everybody. This is the fourth video in the series of giving you a good overview of creating a business website with your own domain using WordPress. So we've talked about a few different things. I just wanted to finish things up uh, telling you a little bit, just a little bit more. Nothing new, uh, but just a little bit. So I'm going to log back in. Um, always remember that whenever you see updates, you want to do updates. If it's from WordPress, you want to update it. If any themes need to be updated, any plugins, because these are the ways hackers can get into your account and create problem, and then you may have to do that. So just to protect yourself, once you have your website up and going properly, you can go to Tools, and then you can Export. So you can export your website and have a copy on your computer or something. So in the future something happen, you'll be able to import the website back. So it's a good way to have all your important stuff that you for doing a lot of um, blogs and things like that. The other thing to I want to mention is the media section. So this is a place where you can add new pictures. I had added this picture earlier. I can delete it if I didn't need it from here. I can edit it to add more information. So you can add in images up here so they'll be sitting in your media library. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the plugins because these are really useful section. You'll find plugins for everything. So you ha say you have a Twitter account and you want your tweets, the messages on Twitter that you've been putting out, automatically show up on your website. You can do that. You can get a plugin. You just go to plugins, add new, and then just type the word Twitter, and you'll find a lot of different people who've been doing, and even with the stars. Or you can just go into Google or the WordPress.org and look for it and see what people have to say, which one's good, add it, install it, activate it, and then play around with it. You'll find that they all offer a lot of help. You can go to their website or they'll have a YouTube video or something like that. You want something with for an ebook, you can do a search for an ebook. And there are lots of different ones. I think the first one is like a paid service, which offers you a little bit more. And you'll find you can sell ebook from your website uh, with through PayPal. Create a PayPal account, accept money through that, because that way you don't have to worry about the security and you don't keep any anybody's um credit card information, PayPal handles it, people feel comfortable doing that. So I just want to show you something that I had done for a friend of mine and uh, it's a thing called Digishop. Uh, he just wanted, to, he wrote an ebook uh, and he wanted to sell it through his website. Now this guy has only three stars but I thought it did the job for what I needed to do. So I just install it, say OK to it and I can activate it and it will say hey let's go to this settings I can say alright let's go to its settings and I can enable it if I want and it wants you to put the email address you know so you can just put the actual email address of the PayPal account that you have with PayPal and then who should get an email you know and then this is the email that people will get and um, do you want it in USD, Canadian dollars? So you can just put that in here. And if you want to get, if you were shipping a physical book, you can enable this part so you can act, act, get the shipping address. So PayPal will make sure that they get a shipping address from the person when they are paying it. Now I just hit save. Now I need to add the books. So on the left hand side on the bottom, there's the DigiShop options. And I can go to products and I can add and I can type something here title the price ten dollars and then I need to choose a file so I'll just do that quickly so I just uploaded a PDF file there and you can upload even more if this ebook or file was on some other website you can put the domain here and I can make it active hit save and you can go on adding as many you want. Now let's see how easy it is to add this on a page. So say I want to go to pages and I want to put this on the services page. So I click here. Okay, I'm just going to remove this. And I can put an image here. I can put any information uh, below it. Now here's the thing 
I can show you. So when I hit enter, you see it jumps an extra line. So to solve that problem, hold the shift key and then press enter. Shift and enter. Now there is this Gigi Shop button here. Click it. There is that book. If you had more than one, you'll see it. You can again tell it, do you want shipping address? I don't want it right now. Click insert. It's put something there. I can hit update. Now I'm just going to open a new tab and go to my test site and sample page services. And there's the buy now button. When they click it, it will take them straight to PayPal's website. So it's a really simple one. There is no shopping cart involved where you need to choose how many do you want, and blah, blah, blah. It just takes them straight to the, to the PayPal. They'll make the payment. Once the payment's done, they will get an email automatically with the file so they can then start reading it. So um, the whole purpose of these four videos was to give you a really good and a nice little overview of how WordPress works and how easy it is to, to use it and to work with it. Uh, doing adding your pages, posts, you can go back and edit it anytime, appearance, themes where you can change the look, widgets which are the things on the side and then depending on and the menu which is the navigation system you can go back there and you can add things or remove things, move things around uh, and the themes options depending on the one that you are using you'll find there are different ones out there and I just wanted to point out one more um, I think if I remember There was a thing called Studio Press, yeah, this one. And they have called Genesis, which is supposed to have lots of interesting things that you can do with it. So you can look into them um, and see if this really works. But for a really small investment and a little bit work on your part, you may need to read a little bit. You can actually get your website up and going in no time. And then when you've made money, you can go out there and get somebody to do a really good job on your website. And you can always just do the basic part, go to users and create an account for somebody that you want to give access to on your website. So they can then come in and start making changes. Thank you for watching. If you had any question, leave a comment. And um, if I need to, I'll make another video answering those questions.